Hi, from beautiful down to... Oh. <laughs> this is the 1971 opening day special. Nice. Oh, yes. Wonderful world of four colors. How are they going to open it up? God approves of Walt Disney World. Do you thank Jesus every day for Walt Disney? No, th this is where we go to heaven to meet Walt Disney so he can give us one last pitch. <laughs> I've always wondered what that army hotel looked like. And I would walk 500 miles and I would walk to Disney World. What an odd way to open this. I am so excited. Is he carrying a guitar or a shovel? The editor said, we need more wide shots. Go back. Crikey, there's a big talking mouse right here. Danger, danger, danger. Glenn Campbell. It's Glenn Campbell. Yes! Glenn, you're walking behind the tree. Glenn? Glenn. <laughs> uh, Glenn. I knew we should have had more than one camera. <laughs> Today is mine. I knew I parked around here somewhere. Am I in the heroes or villains lot? Oh, I can never remember. Guys, I'm allergic to Kentucky grass. Is this Kentucky grass? Shelby steps on a sinkhole and just falls. That's <laughs> Florida. Seriously, this is the start to the special promoting their new resort. And we are three and a half minutes in with no promotion. You know what we need? Oh, a monorail! Oh no. A monorail! Ladies and gentlemen, a tone shift. Hello, everyone. I'm Julie Andrews, and I'm here at the opening of the Walt Disney World in Florida, just a few miles away from Cape Kennedy, where men point their space vehicles toward the stars. And women point vehicles towards other places. Of wildlife sanctuaries for nature's creatures. And Glenn Campbell still walking through the woods. <laughs> yeah, I want Glenn Campbell to be on one of those paths just still singing. <laughs> Glenn! Glenn, we're out, we're out, we're off. The time, now. Occasion, the opening of Walt Disney World. The place, Orlando, Florida. The point, money. The grand opening of Walt Disney World. It's like, uh, boss, we got a helicopter for a day and a half. We just film everything. We're gonna use it. <laughs> Don't let it touch the ground. If it touches the ground, we gotta pay for another day. Load it with film. When you... It feels like they're not allowed in yet. Not even Julie. She's just wishing she could get inside. I like to think that this is all impromptu. This, this She has a whole spiel she's supposed to give about the opening of the resort and where you can find it and where you can get tickets. And she just started singing and, and walking and hopping on vehicles. Star. Yep, the line for Starbucks is out the door still. Yes, I'd like a vente mocha latte. The Main Street Theater, this is why you, well, they should have never gotten rid of it. I love how they don't have it on the projector. They just are counting to the images. She's using her imagination. I'm imagining I'm watching Disney movies inside of a gift shop. Show us the haunted mansion already. I know. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> this is... Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Mom and chance. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> They're going to fight the Jets. You're going to see the other characters coming out. Just They just showed this to Don Tatum, and he was like, what? Why well, asked you to get footage of the rides? I guess the good point to make here is what rides? No Big Thunder, no Pirates, no Space Mountain. Most costumes are all 10 years old at this point. Everything is satisfactory. I'm proud of Julie for not phoning in a second of this. That was the, it wasn't even a, 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 a platform stage, it's just... This was back when the castle shows used to be in the streets. Mm-hmm. Because Julie Andrews is from the streets. Man, how many different eras has zippity doo become victim to? Not enough. We have the 80s rap version, we have this 70s... It's the most She's up. <laughs> I put that max in my contract. I think my idea of this special has changed from 
how could you not get any video of the rides to we need to fill an hour and a half without having any rides to show? It's interesting that you got Pluto, Goofy, VIPs, and then Pinocchio. I feel like they're saving Mickey. Oh, there he is! I knew it! Oh, he's, <laughs> he's in the Cinderella suite. He likes to watch. Where's Glenn? Glenn, you need a sandwich? Glenn, Glenn we got some trail mix. <laughs> Glenn, I got a bottle of water. Well, Margaret, here we are at Disney World Campgrounds. Yay! These are all our kids. These are all our real children. All right, you little beggars. Here, get out, <laughs> all right? Get over there to the campsite. Hurry up now. Come on, Mavis, Teddy, Sissy. June, you get over there. Harry? Bobby, Jew, uh, uh, Timmy, just, just Jim, whatever, whatever your name is. That's all right. Yep, that's all right. Mom's driving because Jonathan Winters is hammered right now. Oh, Margaret. <laughs> Made it to the campgrounds. That wasn't too bad a drive, was it? After all, it was only two days and two nights. She's Smith. dead. I didn't bug you too much, did it? John, she's dead. Margaret. Well, what about me sitting on this side all the time going bumpity 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 bump? Wasn't easy for me. I guess you must have hit a thousand chuckles between Fort Smith and here. Oh, come on, Margaret. Huh? She's actually Listen, dead. Come on, Margaret. Get out of there. Let's let's get let's go find Glenn Margaret Campbell. Water and maybe here. Wait a minute. Let me let me help you. Are your hands frozen to the wheel? Here. <coughs> what the heck is ha- What's the joke here? Did she fall asleep as soon as they parked? All right, come on, on your feet. We're gonna have some fun. Chop some firewood. I don't know who you are. Who are you? Why are you grabbing me? Put your hands down. Stop that. <gasps> no, but what is- Is, she, did be, is it because she drove for so long to get here? Yeah. She can't yep, move? And, yep, she's lost her mind. Here, you kids. Mavis. Billy Joe, come over here. Mavis and Billy. Samson. Gene, come over here. Delilah. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me, Margaret? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you talked too much in the earlier years when we were first married. Now you've lost your voice. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, this is going to age great. Oh, too bad. All right, you kids run off. There now. was no script for this. Come on, Margaret. We're going to have some fun, sweetheart. On your feet now. Come on, this is your holiday. What? What? Just <laughs> happened. <laughs> that was the most bizarre skit. Glenn? It's Glenn! They found him! Oh. <laughs> they rescued they Glenn. Oh, they found him. They gave him a new suit. I'm Glenn Campbell, and I'm on the lake side of the new Contemporary Hotel. You'll see it in a minute. <laughs> You'll see it in a minute. <laughs> Just wait. Wait for it. There it is. Some of the things that you'll glimpse on the show today. Now, we all know magic is the Disney people's special business. Well, that really takes all the magic out of the magic of Disney. <laughs> we all know magic is the Disney people's business, but, uh... I expected, I expected to see miracles take place in all... Oh, well, we're not going to take that again. This is a one-shot of him getting out of the boat. We're not going to go... All right, Glenn, we're doing this one take. Here he is right now. My golfing buddy, Mr. Bob Hope. I like that this is the just the 70s class of Disney celebrities. Because you know you got that 90s, early 2000s, like Tim Allen and Cher and Whoopi Goldberg. Thank you, girls. Wait for me in Adventureland. The joke there is Bob Hope likes to have sex in Adventureland. I have a lovely room with complete privacy, except in the bathtub, which Donald Duck shares with me. Did you ever try bathing with a duck who was playing with his rubber man? Oh my gosh! Donald told you that in confidence, Bob. See here, I love Fantasyland. Fantasyland, you know, that's like Agnew winning the National Open. You know what, guys? If I had never seen a single thing about Walt Disney World, I am so in. I think this, this talks less about Disney as a company and more about how entertainment was on television in the 70s. Right. We're going to get you excited and not show you a damn thing. A, a big band piece, celebrities, a couple song numbers, some comedy. Eat your heart out, Jerry Reed. Oh, yes. There we go. Look how fresh that paint looks. So this is our, we're half an hour in. This is the first attraction we've seen. Yeah, <laughs> Perhaps people in the 70s were more media literate than people are now. They could follow this. Because I feel if I saw this out of context about any park that I am not familiar with in and out, I would be very confused. Well, they're, they're yeah, because they're blatantly not 
telling you what you're looking at. Glenn, Glenn, they can't stop the boat. They can't stop. It won't stop. Glenn, Glenn move. Glenn, Glenn, move. Jump into the water, Glenn. <laughs> Where can you take me to make me... I don't know about you guys, but I am super hair jealous right now. I'm collar jealous. Glenn, the Muppets are trying to do their show right next door. Can you <laughs> pipe it down? Glenn, what time's the three o'clock parade? And I'll tell you, it's a great place just to think and feel. There are other things here to remind us, too, that freedom didn't come to us on the silver Glenn flag. Campbell has a whistle in his pants. Abraham Lincoln's looking around like, just wait till they see me stand up. The kids go freaking nuts when they see me stand up. Lyndon B. Johnson. Here. Richard M. Here. <laughs> Present. Here. Yeah, we want to meet up for drinks later? Yeah, sure. All right. I hope one day I can be a stormtrooper. <laughs> Kill me and make me. Well, what if the doors opened at doors open on Rise of the Resistance and 44 presidents are slowly turning their heads in front of space? <laughs> do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I do. Margaret, you've done a fantastic job here. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. It's very taut. You said right. You know what? We're just going to turn the cameras on Jonathan Winters and just let him go. Margaret, put yourself together. The kids are staring at you. Let's. <laughs> Jeez. Fantastic game where look, I'll do the opening day special on two conditions. Number one, no one else that's surrounding me is allowed to speak, and number two, I can just make fun of my fake wife. Last time, and my right in the head. She had some kind of headache, didn't she? Stop and look and listen to what we tell you. Stop and look and listen to what we say. There is something special we're gonna sell you. It is really something to see, so don't go away, cause you think you've seen everything you can see. The, the lyric is, we know you think you've seen everything you can see, but I feel like I haven't seen anything. Right. There's more. There's more? What is there? You just gotta take our word for it, guys. There's more. Here we go. There we go. A ride. Amazing. Two rides. Great. Look at that empty park. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Let's get rid of the carpets. This is the Crystal Palace. I think the, the yeah. Crystal Palace was a much bigger deal when it opened than it is now. Now it's just like the Winnie the Pooh. Now it's, yeah, Winnie the Pooh buffet. Life is a kumquat, what? like somebody said. Oh, I love it. I miss this. This is so much better than, like, ladies and gentlemen, random Disney Channel star. Now we are back in Disney World. And to prove it... Wait, where were we just? I think we were on commercial break. Hello again, everybody. This is your track announcer, Chick Hearn. And I'm afraid of heights. The most spine-tingling event of this... <laughs> that, that death grip he's got on that. <laughs> oh, they are pandering to that... That dem camping, NASCAR-loving... I guess that was just America, though. Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Special appearance by the Love Bug. Why are you whistling like that? Isn't Herbie sentient? He doesn't need a driver, right? Hi, y'all. I'm Carl Crackler from Weevil Sea, Georgia. I'm sort of a tracker, you might say. What is happening? Oh, dear. Jonathan Winters. It's nice to know that the same amount of thought and care and planning went into this special as most of our skits that we shoot at the parks. <laughs> yeah. Ever, it's, it's, not, it's that reassuring director that says to you, what if we did this? Should we keep rolling? Yeah, just keep shooting them. Just, we still got 45 minutes left of this special. Are they trying to artificially recreate the chaos of Disneyland's opening? They just want that chaotic energy because they think that's some sort of integral piece to success. Right. The less this makes sense, guys, the better. They booed him. He put his tail between his legs and he cut off. What does this have to do with Disney? <laughs> <laughs> that was two minutes of absolutely nothing to do with Walt Disney World. Julie Andrews is just the the rock of this. Now, this original, like, Skyway way thing, where did this go to and from? Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. Uh -huh. Nobody is caring, Julie. Julie's like, I do. I care about this. Hold a child in my arms. Now, Julie, we can't turn off the soundtrack, so you're just going to have to lip sync 
for your life. <laughs> oh, they made a mashup. Keep singing, Julie. Keep singing, Julie. You can beat them. Julie, you can't let them win. Julie, stop. Don't stop. Keep going, Julie. They're too strong for her. They're too strong. <laughs> She's She has no... She's overwhelmed. She's, She's outnumbered. Oh, my God. She turned them into real kids. She turned them into real kids. No, they're real. My worst nightmare has been confirmed. This is what happens. <laughs> Get them back in there. Julie Andrews is our savior. Ju Julie Andrews is their fearless leader. This, this was the, this was Julie was playing the long con. We thought she cared so much about it, but it was, in the end, she really just wanted to to uh, liberate these poor wooden children. She used children. her Mary Poppins powers and, oh, and, and turned them into real boom. people. Viva la revolution! It's our world now. <laughs> <laughs> just setting fire to the various buildings. What do you kids want to do first when I break you out of here? Carousel. All right. No, nope, and she's just leaving the chaos. She's just leaving them. Goodbye, she buddy, just goodbye. literally she she liberated them, freed them, and, and now leaves the them to their own devices. And leave them, leave them to their own devices. You just walk in and you get thirty years off for good behavior. There's what? A what? Into a land of sparkle and lights and rainbows. Today is man. When you describe that in your '70s announcer voice, it takes all of the magic out of it. Mm. Sparkles and rainbows. Sparkles and rainbows. And smiles. And Joy. Children. Excitement. Laughter. Maybe that's what we ought to rename this place. From Disney with love. From Disney, From Disney with, with love. love. Yeah. He's like, oh. <laughs> James Bond he's in. A, From a, Disney with Disney love. With love. <laughs> you know, while I'm here, I think I'm going to throw out a few my ideas for the people at Walt Disney World. First off, rename it. From Disney with love. Wait, hold on a sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there are 76 trombones. Margaret, can you believe how many Trump? Margaret, Margaret. <laughs> there's there's tw there's 72 trombones. Stop yeah, being we dead didn't... and count these trombones with me, will you? <laughs> so I guess the point of the special was people wanted to see the opening day, you know what it looked like on opening day, and so this whole thing has been procrastinated and delaying this reveal, which is of course this famous photo. They're going to release the balloons, I assume. And people wanted to see that, and so they created this whole special around it, knowing that they wanted to see. I mean, this is the Time Magazine famous photo, right? Yep. And they're about. They have to release the balloon soon to get that really famous photo. And people were probably like, I, you know, I'm. I'd watch an hour-long variety special to lead up to see those balloons released. Where is the VIP tuba section? I'm looking for the VIP reserved dinner party tuba section. Is there a is there a cupcake party tuba section? I think there's a cupcake. Where is tuba? the dessert flute section? I'm looking for dessert flutes. Man, those trees are not there anymore. Guest services themselves went out and cut them down. The castle, upon listening to this grand chorus, sheds one single tear. <laughs> Just a giant. A giant water Just tear. Just a giant tear rolling down from the <laughs> tallest tower. Roll. There we go. Hey! Baby! We did it. We didn't factor for the wind. And now they don't have, don't have any idea to end the special. Julie's got to come in and say. Julie and Glenn Campbell are holding on to one and flow right past. Good night, everybody. From Disney with love. <laughs> Hi, I'm God. What you've just watched was the opening of Walt Disney World. Hope you enjoyed it. Come and see me sometime. Honey, we should go. That looked fun. Margaret? Margaret! Margaret, wake up! Literally, Jonathan Winter's entire portion of this had nothing to do <laughs> with Disney World. It was for the working man. It was to appeal to the working man. My wife is a crazy narcoleptic T-Rex. How about yours?